Covenant and Maryville doing battle once again. These arch rivals about two and a half hours away from one another. Covenant here at Lookout Mountain as Igbanu is going to get called for an offensive foul to start this game. Maryville from just south of Knoxville, and these two teams have been rivals for as long as many Covenant fans can remember. Short jumper is good, and Miles Rasnick, who is one of the stars of the new Collegiate Conference of the South, the senior from Knoxville, Tennessee, gets his first basket. 2-0 Maryville. Maryville 6-6 six six this year. And they have not played a conference game yet. This is their first one. Eight on the shot clock. Noel to Igbanu, who's this covenant leading scorer. Perlman, long three-pointer. Doesn't go, and the rebound by Jackson Garner, one of the freshman starters for this Maryville unit. And Garner lost the ball, but it luckily was in the range of Charlie Cochran. Cochran steps back, shoots over Igbanu, and misses, and Perlman tips the board to Noel. Here's Noel pulling the trigger and knocking down the three. Covenant so far four and nine this season. They also have not played a conference game. What a perfect way to start conference play than a home game against your arch rival. Darrell Rice feeds Rasnick, who's isolated against Gurnett. That's going to be a matchup we'll keep an eye on. Cochran, lefty layup, no. Igbanu trying to chase the board down and wisely throws it off of Cordell Kay, the senior from Knoxville, Tennessee. Kay is spelled K-A-H, but pronounced K. 3-2 Covenant as we are just about two minutes in. Igbanu trapped up top, finds Grenat. Back to Igbanu, pump fakes, steps through a couple of defenders and misses the reverse layup and Maryville comes back the other way. Rasnick feeding K, posting up Perlman. And Perlman does a nice job defensively and knocks it off the, the knee, I should say, of Cordell K. Burnett trying to feed it to Igbanu, cutting inside, but the pass was tipped. Igbanu arguing for a foul. Noel to Gurnat, open three, doesn't fall. Long rebound, tipped to Perlman. Noel drives around, Rasnick stops in the paint. Now Crowden has the open look from the corner. Luke Crowden makes it 6-2 Covenant. Rasnick cannot answer, and Noel has the board. Two tough, hard-nosed teams. It's going to take a big man to win this game as Noel misses the three. Rasnick the board. Rasnick pull-up jumper doesn't fall, but we have a loose ball foul against senior Logan Perlman. Chase Morgan and RJ Simmons, a couple more freshmen check in for Maryville here. Backdoor feed, and Igbanu blocked it, and it went off of Maryville. What a play by Promise Igbanu chasing that play down. 6-2 Covenant with 16.40 to play first half. Noel feeds Igbanu. Back to Noel. 
crossover pull-up jumper. That's Malcolm Noel's bread and butter. His mid-range pull-up jumper is lethal. Inside it goes Simmons. Simmons' long jumper is good from the corner. R.J. Simmons, freshman from Powder Springs, Georgia. Pearlman, pump it, a couple of pump fakes and dangerous pass that Noel just corralled. 15 on the shot clock. Igbanu spinning multiple times. Finds Noel who has a lane, flips it out to Pearlman, five on the shot clock. Pearlman throwing up a wild shot and no foul was called. Referees letting him play so far. A lot of contact and not a lot of fouls. Feeding it inside and a jumper misses. Simmons the offensive rebound. Put back attempt doesn't fall. Another offensive rebound. Chase Morgan, six foot five forward. Puts it back in and now we have Crowden and Simmons getting tied up and we're gonna get our first media timeout. Hopefully that'll settle things down a little bit here. 15.03 to go in the first half. Coven at eight, Maryville six. Covenant puts in a few new substitutions. Walker Mathis and Charlie Hester sub in, replacing Perlman and Crowden. Igbanu fakes the three, finds Mathis. Now Noel up top again. Hester. Kicks to Noel in the corner, five on the shot clock. Mathis open in the paint and missed the short shot. Rebound Simmons. Here's a short jumper that's good from Maryville's Jose Rodriguez who checked in during the timeout for them. Jalen Green, number zero, also joined him. Tie ball game, eight apiece. Gurnat trying to feed it to Mathis. It got there. Hester, nice feed and knocks down the corner three, does Charlie Hester. Eleven to eight, Covenant, 13-48 to go first half. Simmons feeding and short jumper misses from Chase Morgan and the Scots come back the other way. The Scots of Covenant that is. Hester with a pump fake and offensive foul as he went right into RJ Simmons. Doesn't seem to phase Hester in the slightest. Malachi Chip, number five, checked in. Sophomore from Alpharetta, Georgia, just a moment ago. And a travel is called on Rodriguez. (laughs) 
Michael St. Germain also checked in for Covenant during that brief break. Igbanu, quick trigger three, missed it. St. Germain can't track down the rebound. And here comes Maryville. Chip for three. No, St. Germain the board. And St. Germain snaps Jose Rodriguez's ankles, bringing it up the floor here. Noel, quick spin, defended well. Walker Mathis resets. St. Germain a three, but we got a whistle and a foul on the floor. It's on Jose Rodriguez. That's the first call on Rodriguez. So he comes out of the game. Hester to inbound. Feeds it to Mathis. Back to Hester, open corner three. Charlie Hester has started lighting it up after becoming the sixth man for the Scots this year. Good coaching move there by Josh Brown. Rasnick trapped and a jump ball and it's gonna stay with Maryville. Logan Perlman checks into the goal, checks back into the ball game, excuse me, replacing Promise Igbanu. Covenant bench has been loud and rowdy so far in this first half. 12.06 to go in the first half. 14-8 Scots, but now it's 14-11 after Malachi Chip drains that three. Mathis hands it off Noel. Noel has it knocked out of his hands. And it's gonna stay Covenant ball. Daryl Rice back into the game, but we're gonna get immediate timeout. 11.44 to go first half. Covenant 14, Maryville 11. This is a presentation of Covenant Scots basketball on the Scots Digital Network powered by EPB Fiber Optics. to 11, Covenant leading, 11.44 to play first half. And Noel's pass intended for St. Germain, stolen by Rasnick. Here's a drive and a tough finish by Cordell Kay to make it a one point game. Both these teams playing incredibly tough so far. Pearlman the pump fake. Noel, pull up jumper. Doesn't fall that time. Daryl Rice has the board and Maryville can take the lead. Cordell K for three. And Maryville assumes a 16-14 lead. Rice playing Noel full court. Hester for the answer. How about Charlie Hester in this first half? Three three-pointers. And he puts Covenant back on top, 
Another timeout on the floor, 30-second timeout. 10.43 to play first half, coming at 17, Maryville 16. Coming it up by one after Charlie Hester's three-pointer. Hester nine points on three for three from downtown. Starting five is back in there for Covenant. Same for Maryville. Three-pointer good from Charlie Cochran, one of the senior leaders from Louisville, Kentucky. And a foul called on Darrell Rice. His first. And we've got a whistle here. And something appears to be, looks like Granat's uniform. Looks like he's bleeding underneath the top of his back. And Noel's uniform also dealing with a couple of problems. They're going to put Hester and Gus Hood in the game as, excuse me, both teams were unsure exactly how to handle this situation. So Gus Hood and Charlie Hester take Burnett and Noel's places for the moment. Perlman for three, no but a foul. Foul is on Charlie Cochran. So two shots, or three shots, I'm sorry, for senior Logan Perlman. Perlman not having a strong year at the line. He came in shooting just 39% at the line. He's one for two on the first two. And misses the third, but Igbanu the offensive rebound and he draws another foul. It's on Rasnick, his first personal foul. So Igbanu will shoot a couple of free throws. Igbanu averaging 20 points and seven rebounds this year, shooting 71% from the free throw line. He puts in both. Covenant goes back up by one, 20 to 19 with 10 minutes remaining in the first half. Gus Hood. And Charlie Hester playing some crucial minutes right now after Gurnett and Noel's uniform problems and a foul here. Logan Perlman fouled Rasnick hard. So Miles Rasnick so far with two points heads to the line. He's averaging just about 17 a game this year. He's an 88% free throw shooter. Oh 
Puts in both. And Maryville goes back up one. Igbanu spinning into the paint. Finds Gus Hood. He's trapped inside and a travel as Hood could not find an outlet. Crossover Rice, kick to the corner, Cochran. Three is short, rebound K. Going at Perlman, hook shot rims out and rebounded by Igbanu. Igbanu's been pretty quiet so far. Two free throws, his only points, and he will take two more free throws here. After drawing that foul, the second on Cochran. So Cochran with two personals, and he will probably have to come out of the game. 9-11 to go, first half, Maryville 21, and Covenant 21 after that free throw. Cochran and Kay come out, replaced by Morgan and Simmons. Noel and Gurnett also back in for Covenant. Crowden and Gus Hood are those who are subbed out. So Hester stays as Igbanu misses the second free throw. Tie ball game at 21 all, 9.06 to go first half. They go inside, and a short hook shot drops through for Chase Morgan. Back door for Hester, and Hester couldn't handle the low pass. Here's Morgan the other way, and Chase Morgan is making an early impact off the bench. He's got a team leading six points. And Maryville goes up 25-21 with 8.25 to play first half. Noel gets tripped up, no foul, and Morgan picks up the loose ball. Three-pointer on the way and no good. Perlman the rebound. Three put up by Jackson Garner. And now Covenant will slow down. And timeout. Or no, they're saying a 10 second violation against Covenant here. Jose Rodriguez back in the ball game along with Jalen Green for Maryville. Rasnick to Morgan. And it's stolen by Igbanu. Chased by Simmons and Igbanu goes down hard. And ends up taking out Simmons with him. Foul is on Chase Morgan. And we're gonna get our second to last media timeout. Promise Igbanu heading back to the line shortly. 25-21, Maryville on top. Igbanu looking to cut into the lead when we return.
Thomas Igbanu about to attempt his fifth and sixth free throws of this ball game. First one rims out. Igbanu thus far has scored all of his points via the free throw. And he misses two there. Perlman, however, is there with the offensive board. Can't tip it in. And a jump ball. Covenant retains possession for the moment. Malcolm Noel will inbound. And we got an offensive foul. Might be an illegal screen, it's on Perlman. And that's three fouls on Logan Perlman, so he's gonna have to come out of the game. Simmons, shot over Igbanu, no, it well defended there. Crowden, brings it up carefully. Igbanu, Hounded by Rodriguez. Tried to cross him up and he double dribbled. So 10 turnovers in the first 13 minutes for this Scots team. They are a turnover prone team. And Noel goes under the screen and a three-pointer misses there. And they're gonna say Igbanu traveled, making that pass to Noel. Inbound Maryville to Rasnick it goes. Defended by Granat, stutter step move. To the corner, back up top. K driving against Igbanu. Five on the shot clock. Drive, lefty layup is good from Jalen Green. 27-21, Maryville on top. Igbanu, and an offensive foul. And now the Covenant bench has issued a warning. Igbanu comes out replaced by Mathis in what has been a highly physical, intense first half. Rasnick for three. Doesn't go, Rodriguez the offensive rebound and the putback. Maryville leads by eight, 29-21. St. Germain can't find Noel back door. Trying to find Crowden, he gets knocked out of his hands. 10 on the shot clock. And a foul on the floor is gonna be on Maryville as Mathis and Kay collided. And Kay is... Looking like he may have gotten hit in the nose there. So he will come out of the game and be tended to by the Maryville training staff as Walker Mathis with Maryville over the limit. Will shoot a one and one free throw. He knocks down the first one. Walker Mathis, a junior from Panama City Beach, Florida. Tallest player on this team at six foot seven. Lanky, quick post player. And he drains both free throws. 29-23. Well, when I talked to 
Scott's student assistant, Wright Kimbrough, before the game. He mentioned this is going to be a very physical game marked by the tougher team coming out with the victory. And it has been exactly as he prescribed in a and one for Jackson Garner here. Luke Crowden with his first personal foul. good, I should say. Nine point lead for Maryville, 5.14 to go first half. Gurnat corner three, blocks and loads and misses. Rodriguez the board, Maryville racing back the other way. Rodriguez fading away, missing. Gurnat the board. Noel up ahead, goes off of a knee. And a sliding play attempted to be made by Mathis and a foul. That's uh, personal on Mathis. Promising Banu back in the ball game. Now Covenant over the limit, Jackson Garner at the line, freshman from Knoxville, Tennessee. Puts in the first free throw. Garner averaging eight points and shooting 86% from the foul line. Makes the second one. Rasnick and Rice back in for Maryville. Who now has an 11 point lead. And Perlman fouled by Rodriguez. Trying to step through, second personal on Rodriguez. Rodriguez and Cochran, the only two Maryville Scots with two fouls. Charlie Hester back in the game for Luke Crowden. And RJ Simmons back in the game for Rodriguez. Perlman shooting one and one. Rolls the first one in there. Logan Perlman, senior from Fort Myers, Florida. He's become one of the best defenders in the conference. And when he's when he's hot from three, it's pretty tough to stop. He is beloved for his leadership more than anything else. And a travel by Morgan. So Covenant gets it back. 34-25 is the score. 4.24 to play in this first half. Hester, Perlman up top. Now Igbanu, knocked out of his hands, 15 on the shot clock. Igbanu kicked Noel. Now Hester, who's had the hot hand. Igbanu steps back for three, gets knocked to the floor, no foul, rebound Simmons. Simmons, the trailer for three, no, Gurnat the board. Under 3.40 to go in the first half, Gurnat. Back to Igbanu. Keeps his dribble alive. Creates space, Noel, who knocks down a crucial three-pointer to make it a six-point game.
Miles Rasnick looking for an answer. Does not have one. Igbanu the board. Noel. To Igbanu, driving around Morgan. Pump fakes a couple of times and drops it through. Good physical move by Promise Igbanu, his first field goal. Rice. Morgan, hook shot, no. Rebound, Perlman. Four point game, 2.20 to go, first half. Covenant can cut it to two or one. Igbanu, double team, gets it to Hester. To Perlman, who's open from the wing and misses the three and went in and out. And a timeout. Which will extend into the media timeout. We have one media timeout remaining in this first half. 34 to 30, Covenant making a little run here. We'll see if they can give themselves some more momentum heading into the half. Maryville 34, Covenant 30, 2.03 to play first half. Maryville throws it away. Igbanu keeps his dribble and gets it to Perlman. Covenant again with a chance to make it a one possession game. Noel for three, no. Rebound by Garner. Simmons. Rasnick to K for three, no. Rebound Noel. Igbanu, as we're about to go under a minute. Igbanu spinning, draws the foul. It's on Daryl Rice. That's his second. So two more free throws for Igbanu. He's three for six from the line. And misses another. the second and it is a one possession game 34-31 53 seconds to play first half Rasnick spinning fadeaway no Igbanu the board as he and Kay again do battle Igbanu spinning inside, another foul drawn. 
This one's on RJ Simmons. That's his first. And Igbanu can cut it to one. Makes the first one. And the second one. So Igbanu does indeed cut it to one. Twenty seconds to play in the first half. Shot clock is turned off. Rasnick looking for K. Ten on the game clock. K knocked out of his hands. Gets uh, gets it back and misses, but draws the foul on Igbanu. That's going to be three on Promise Igbanu. With only six point four to play in the first half. Thirty-four, thirty-three, Maryville. Oh. And Cordell K, one of the seniors from Knoxville, Tennessee, misses the first free throw. K shooting 66% from the line and averaging 8.2 points a game. Misses the second. Long rebound tipped out to Noel. Three seconds. Noel to Igbanu. Pump fakes, fires, and it's off the glass and no good. And Igbanu got knocked to the ground. No foul. And the first half is over. It's been a physical and loud first half. 19 team fouls. And we have a one point game. 34-33 Maryville. This is a presentation of Covenant Scott's men's basketball on the Scott's digital network powered by EPB Fiber Optics.
Second half about to get underway. It's a one point game as it stands. Maryville leads 34-33 in what's been a tightly contested physical ball game. As evidenced by number 24, Cordell Kay's cotton ball in his nose after getting hit. Perlman tried to draw the charge, was unsuccessful. And Cochran benefits by knocking down the corner three. Thirty-seven, thirty-three. Maryville on top. Nineteen twenty to go. Igbanu, who's been quiet, here's Noel. Then throws it away into the hands of Garner. Two on one. Now the Scots get back defensively and knock it away, but Garner recovers, finds Rasnick out to K. Three pointer. Doesn't go, Igbanu has the board. And it's knocked out of Igbanu's hands and stolen. Garner, open three. And Maryville takes a seven point lead on a 6-0 run to open the quarter and Coach Brown calls timeout. 40 to 33, Maryville now leading, timeout on the floor. Forty to thirty-three, Maryville on top after two quick three-pointers. Covenant looking to answer. Noel defended and hounded by Rice. Igbanu gets around K. Scoop layup is good, and Igbanu gets a basket back, and it's forty to thirty-five. Rice setting up the play. Driving on Noel. Takes him in the paint and scores on him. And talks a little smack following. Gernat feeding Igbanu. Igbanu spinning toward the baseline, is trapped, finds Noel open, and Noel hits a three. Cochran pops the three-pointer and misses it, Noel aboard. Four-point game, 42-38. Igbanu lines up a three-pointer and misses it, rebound K. Here's Rice knocked out of his hands and Perlman wisely tipped it back to Noel. Gernat with a step up three, doesn't go. Crowden fighting for and can't corral the rebound. K finds Cochran and a foul is going to be on Igbanu that's going to be four so four fouls on promise Igbanu so 
So he will come out of the ball game. Walker Mathis back in the ball game. Cochran to Rasnick. Inside they go to Kay. Perlman defending, and Perlman defends it well. And Covenant avoids the quick jumper. 42-38 still, 16-20 to play in the game. Noel feeding Mathis. Pump fakes once, spins left, off glass, no, rebound K. It's a good move by Mathis, but could not finish. Jalen Green feeding it to Cochran. Mathis all over him. Cochran spinning and can't put it in. More good defense on the interior by Covenant. Teams have been scoreless for a few minutes now as Crowden gets inside. Perlman open wing. Yes! Logan Perlman with a crucial three-pointer and it's 42-41. Kay tries a three and he answers. now the score after the team's trade threes. Just under 15 minutes to go. Granat feeding Perlman who fades away and hits the jumper. What a shot by Logan Perlman on the catch and fade. And Kay gets the extra step and Scores on Perlman. Another back-to-back buckets as Perlman and Kay trade four baskets. Perlman wants another three. Doesn't go that time. Mathis has it and draws the foul. And we're going to get immediate timeout. 14-22 to play. And Covenant and Maryville trading buckets, 47-43 the score as it stands now. Walker Mathis at the free throw line. He's two for two from the line so far. Two points, three boards for Mathis who misses the first free throw. That shot will not count as Mathis stepped in front of the line. Rasnick, who's been quiet, only four points today for him.
Rodriguez kicks it out, Garner. Inside Morgan, and shot clock violation. Basket will not count. Good defense there by Covenant. Noel, who's leading scorer for the Scots today with 11, has it back from Hester. Noel the drive, slips and a foul. Foul is on Jalen Green, the freshman. His first. Mathis in the paint, kicks it out, Gurnat. Gets past Rasnick, layup, no good, and an offensive foul. Johnny Gurnat. A little shaken up after that hard fall. Looks like he's okay. Still a 47-43 ball game with 13.25 to go. Scott's putting on a little mini press. Inside to Morgan. Morgan spinning over Mathis, no, but gets his own board and tips it in. So the Scots trail, Scots of Covenant, I should say, 49-43. Hester to Noel, back door, and he's fouled, trying to drive. I believe that's on Morgan, it is. His second personal. Mathis out of the game, replaced by Fisher Mitchell. Freshman from Woodstock, Georgia. Igbanu again is in foul trouble. He has four personals. So the Scots are having to use as many backup big men as they can. Hester with a three, and he got it! Charlie Hester, four for four from downtown. 49-46. Rasnick, pull up jump shot is good. Rasnick now with six points. Grenat, driving against Rasnick, finds Noel, 10 on the shot clock. Noel, quick pull up, doesn't go that time. Rodriguez the board. Rasnick, three-pointer, no. Rodriguez corrals the ball and goes over Noel and scores. And it's a seven-point Maryville lead, 11.30 to play. Here's Hester throwing one off the glass, misses, but a foul. It's on Jackson Garner, and we're going to get our second media timeout. 11-19 to go. Covenant trailing 53-46, but Charlie Hester will have two free throws when we come back.
Charlie Hester heading to the free throw line after he got knocked to the floor. Hester so far, 12 points. That leads all scorers. He's four for four from the field. All four of those shots are threes. Misses the free throw. And the second one rolls in. So 53-47 is the score. Rasnick with Gurnat on him. Gurnat's done a fine job defending him today. Uh, but Rasnick knocks down that jumper in his face there. Igbanu, who's back in the game with four personal fouls. Hester. And we've got a foul. It's on Maryville's Malachi Chip. Cordell Kay and Charlie Cochran return for Maryville. Here's Igbanu, pump fake, whistle, and we have a travel. The referee under the basket had his hand up for a foul. But I suppose the head referee who was outside the three-point line overruled him, and the travel was first, he claimed. Ten and a half to play, 55-47, Maryville leads. They go inside, trapped on the baseline, spinning jump shot, no, rebound Igbanu. Noel racing. Igbanu the drive, takes a couple of men and draws the foul. That's on Charlie Cochran, that is his third. Second free throw is good, 55-48. Rasnick spinning and spinning, and a jump ball. Igbanu with a dangerous play with four personal fouls. But that time, he got the benefit of the doubt. Ball goes to Covenant on the jump ball. 55-48, Maryville leads, under 10 minutes to go. Perlman lines up a corner three! And it's a four-point game. Perlman catching fire in the second half. throws it away. Checking in is Rice. He will be shadowing Noel. Noel gets right by him. Finds Gurnat in the corner and he misses the three. Rebound Rodriguez. Rice now drives, pump fakes, floater, yes, got the roll. And it's back to six.
Hurlman, open for three. That one doesn't fall. Rodriguez, another rebound. Rasnick to Rodriguez, feeding it to Kay. Ball knocked out of the hands of Kay by Hester. And it's gonna be Covenant ball. Back into the game, Jackson Garner for Maryville. As Charlie Hester has done nothing but get crucial buckets and defensive stops. They go to Igbanu inside, spinning away from Rodriguez, but an offensive foul, and Igbanu is done. Igbanu, 10 points and seven boards. Is done for the day. Maryville does a nice job holding him to 10. Might have actually had 11 after the free throw. Marasnik, quick pull up is good. And Maryville goes up by eight. Here's Noel driving, layup blocked, but it goes off of Covenant out of bounds. What an unbelievable play as Mathis and Coach Brown can't believe it. But Maryville's going to get the ball when we come back after this timeout. 7.39 to play, Maryville 59, Covenant 51. Maryville 59, Covenant 51. Second half, seven and a half to go. Rodriguez back to Rice. Extra pass, Garner a three. Doesn't go, K tips the rebound to himself. Doesn't get it to go. And a block from Noel on Rasnick's put back attempt. And he throws it away, Hester with a steal. Noel. Crossover, Gurnat, a three. How about Malcolm Noel and Johnny Gurnat working together there? 59-54, 6.55 to go. Covenant continuing to keep themselves alive. Maryville so far has had an answer for every shot. Miles Rasnick, it's his time. Late in the shot clock, he steps back and hits the jumper. And a timeout called by Maryville. Fourth year head coach, Raul Placeres. Asks for a timeout. 61-54, your score. Maryville still leads. Coming in in need of a run. We'll see if they can get it here.
Maryville up by seven with 6.36 to play. And Rice takes it away from Noel and has an easy layup. This Maryville defense not seeming to tire the Scots, but is making them think twice about every shot. And Gurnett scores and draws the foul. Foul was on Jackson Garner. That's his third. Granat, who has three points, heads to the line to complete the three-point play. Actually make that six points. I forgot he hit the jumper earlier. My apologies. Six points for Granat. 63-57 Maryville. Rasnick against Granat. Gets a double team. Out to Rodriguez. Going at Perlman. Fading away, no. Perlman the board. Here's Noel trying to feed it to Mathis and two Maryville players went for it and both of them came down with it out of bounds. Kay comes out of the game. Replaced by Cochran. Gurnat with a fading three for the corner. And it's back to a three point game. Inside Rodriguez. Perlman knocks it out of his hands. What defense by the senior. Noel. Throwing it to Mathis. Mathis loses the ball and Rice picks it up. Rice kicks it out. Cochran a three. No and a foul. That's going to be four on Logan Perlman. As Cochran was fouled on the three-point attempt. So three shots coming up here. First free throw, no good from Cochran. Cochran thus far with six points, two rebounds. Knocks down the second one. Cordell K back in the game for Jose Rodriguez. And third one's no good, so Cochran goes one for three. And it's a four point game, two possession game. Noel and Rice again doing battle. Inside they go Mathis. Goes at K and a blocking foul is called. Cordell K with a foul. Basket does not count. Foul is on the floor, so Walker Mathis will head to the line for a one and one. Maryville over the limit with 18 fouls. And all the players huddled around a moisture spot on the floor, and now they Get one of our wonderful event staff to mop that up for us. So one and one free throws for Walker Mathis. 
He's two for three from the line. Two points, four boards, and two dimes. For the junior from Panama City Beach. And he rolls the first free throw in there, 64-61. Mathis makes both. One possession game, 64-62, 4.38 to go. Rice bringing it up. He and Noel have been going at each other. Here's Kay, pump faking Mathis, spinning, goes over him and scores. And it's back to a four point game. They have a mismatch. Mathis defending Rice. And Noel's pass tipped out of bounds. Timeout called. Final media timeout of this half. 3.56 to go. It's an exciting game we've got here. A couple days after New Year's, 66-62 Maryville in this rivalry game. Who will come out the victor? We'll find out in a moment. Covenant will have 12 on the shot clock and an inbound from the sideline just in front of their bench. 66-62 Maryville. Perlman to inbound. Gets it to Mathis. Crowden with 10 on the shot clock. Perlman open. And he airballed the three. It might have been tipped. And Rice comes back the other way. Rice back door, Rasnick doesn't go off the glass. Covenant avoids that one. Crowden. Noel now. Gets the switch. Gurnat fires a three. It doesn't go. Rodriguez soars in for the board. Rasnick pulling a three and knocking it down in the Garnett's face. Miles Rasnick with 15 points now. He leads all scorers with 15. Timeout. Covenant head coach Josh Brown. And it's 69 to 62, 251 to go in this ball game. We'll see if the Scots have something in them after this timeout. Covenant with the ball, just under three minutes to go. Covenant trails by seven. Maryville bench getting very loud now as Perlman comes up hobbling a little bit. 
as the referees instruct the Maryville bench to tone it down a little bit. Crowden for three, yes! Luke Crowden pulled the trigger and got it to fall. 69-65, 2.35 remaining. Inside to Kay, Perlman has four personals, he's gotta be careful. Rodriguez, back to Kay it goes. Spinning, Perlman got a hand on it and gets the rebound after the miss. Two possession game, Covenant can cut it to one. Perlman, pump fakes the three, driving on Rasnick, fading hook shot, no. Rasnick the board. What an intense game this has been. Everything we build it up to be at the outset with these two teams. Two arch rivals. And a foul on the floor against Walker Mathis. That's gonna be two. Covenant still with one foul to give. 149 remaining. Rice has got it. Now Rasnick. 15 on the shot clock. It's Miles Rasnick time. He passes it off. Cochran, a three. Doesn't go. Gardner tried to save the board but could not and threw it away. Rodriguez comes back in the game for defensive purposes. As Garner with three personals, heads to the bench. 1.31 to go, 69-65, Maryville. Mathis hands it off, Crowden. Bounce pass intended for Mathis was too low and goes out of bounds. Garner replaces Rodriguez. Rasnick, spinning, firing, and scoring. What a shot by Miles Rasnick to put Maryville up six with under a minute to go. Timeout, Maryville. It's a full timeout, and Covenant will have to hit two quick threes to tie it here. 54.9 seconds to go. Maryville 71, Covenant 65 in an exciting game here at Barnes PE Center. Six point game, 54.9 on the game clock. 25 on the shot clock for the Scots here. Dangerous pass that Noel jumps to Corral. Scots need two threes. Mathis has it knocked out of his hands, but falling on top of the line was Kay. So Covenant ball, 14 on the shot clock now and 43.8 on the game clock. And our wonderful home event staff will clean up that spot as well.
Perlman inbounds. Back to Mathis. Shot clock was reset to 20. Crowden fires away. Misses. Rodriguez the board. Cordell K. Here's the wolf and doesn't cut and doesn't uh, throw it away, I should say. Rasnick. Back to K. And a foul by Mathis with 24.6 on the game clock. And the referee heading over to the scorer's table to reset the shot clock. Scots are out of fouls to give. Next foul puts Maryville at the free throw line. Good defense, but Rasnick corrals the ball and is immediately fouled. Gurnat with the foul, his second. Probably better that he got it than Mathis did because Mathis is at three. Charlie Hester is going to come in the game for offense as he is the leading scorer for, with four for four shooting, all from three, 13 points for the sophomore Charlie Hester. Rasnick, who's a very good free throw shooter, hits the first one. And hits the second, so it's an eight-point game. Jalen Green back in the game. Noel, 20 seconds on the game clock. Gets inside quickly and lays it in. 73-67. They get it to Rasnick, who's fouled. So Rasnick with a chance to eclipse the 20-point plateau tonight after a first half that he did not contribute much. He's turned it on in the second half and now has 19 points on seven of 15 shooting. And he's made all four of his free throw attempts to this point. The senior from Knoxville, Tennessee, who has been an elite scorer since stepping on the court for Maryville. 30 second timeout, Raul Placeris. Maryville up 74-67, and time running out on the Covenant Scots. But do they have a miracle in them? We'll find out. Rasnick with one more free throw. 74-67, Maryville on top here. And he drains the free throw, eight point game, 16 seconds to go. Scots have to get it up quickly. Perlman trying to throw one up, can't get it to fall. Rodriguez will hold it, and the game is over. Final buzzer sounds, and Maryville earns their first conference win, 75-67, in a tough battle with their arch rival Covenant. Miles Rasnick was stellar again with 21 points, and Covenant had Malcolm Noel and Charlie Hester score 13 apiece in the losing effort. Covenant basketball will be back in action on Wednesday, a week from tomorrow. They will be here at home. They will play Berea. That will be a 7 o'clock p.m. start. We hope you will tune in to that presentation on January 11th 
when the Covenant Scots play Berea. Thanks to all the crew who assisted with today's games. Andrew Davick doing our music and shot clock for us. Amanda Jones doing the scoreboard. Solomon Crouch running the book. Adam Belford is our statistician with John Painter, the Maryville SID spotting. Thanks to Chris Cox, our cameraman, and the home events crew for all that they do. And I'm wishing you a wonderful rest of your Christmas and New Year break, and we hope to see you again 